Hello, my beautiful Gemini friends. How are you today? This is a love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot, and welcome to the channel. So we're cutting the deck here to see what the overall energy is you're at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, Nine of Cups. Celebratory energy, Gemini. Let's look and see what Spirit is telling you about the reading before we get into the details. What's the overall energy? A message from Spirit about this reading for our Geminis. I spy. I am a Gemini. Extremes. Gemini. It looks hot. Hot, hot, hot. And fun, fun, fun. Look at that nine of cups. And the heat is on, baby. A lot of fire there. Big old full moon. It's going to be interesting to see what's coming up for you. All right. Darkness. Long night moon. So you're pretty much in the dark right now about this person, but it feels great. And we have blossoming energy. Nice. All right. We have, this one came out too. The unexpected blue moon. Okay. Well, that is quite an opener. So let's see now what we have. Let's cut the deck and see what we have or you're reading the mutual energy between you and your person in the recent past, Gemini. Ooh, two of cups. That's quite a lovely beginning. That's all I can say. Heat and lots of love and lots of fun. Blossoming. Four of cups. So right now, the recent energy in the past, the recent past was the two of cups. Now you're at the four of cups. So something's been going on here in the relationship that's leaving you both a little bit bored, uncertain. It can just be exhaustion from life generally. But the Four of Cups is usually saying that there's something that seems not quite as engaging. So we'll get into that with the clarifiers. Your person is feeling very much, very sad. The Four of Swords energy is they feel wounded. Your person feels like they need to recover from something. So that could be as simply as not feeling well physically, but to me, this looks very emotional with these two fours here. There's something about the stability of the relationship that doesn't feel comfortable. You know, we also have the card of darkness and the unexpected. So let's see how they view you, Gemini. Oh, the full card, somebody that is lots of fun, very adventurous. They view you as someone who likes a new beginning. You're open to new beginnings. They see you as a very enlightened Aquarius, very fascinating, fun, lighthearted energy. The full card is, you know, on a new journey in life. In their heart space, they are feeling as though you could be the one. The three of coins is a card of collaboration, success, wanting to say, hey, you know, let's get together, let's make plans, let's, uh, let's live together, let's do things together, projects, you know, hey, what are we going to do in the living room? Are we going to, you know, paint it? Are we going to go on a vacation together? The way your person views the situation unfolding with you is slowly. We have the Page of Cups, a small offer of love. But the Two of Cups is literally the Bride and Groom card and the Rider Waite. But it really speaks to two hearts beating as one. But when we get the energy of the Page of Cups, it is a small offer. I even see, you know, when I get this when pigs fly, your person may see you as someone who they can't win, you know, when we get the energy of Four of Cups and the Four of Swords, a person may think that you are beyond their reach, that somehow they may not measure up to your expectations, but it's a fear. What's the hidden energy between the two of you? Sagittarius, there you go, wanting to work things out. That's your seventh house of long-term committed relationship. Sagittarius energy is ruled by Jupiter, good luck. A lot of protection here. Both of you want to make things work. Both of you are calm, cool, and collected, trying to balance whatever the unknowns are at this time. Spirit is recommending the Four of Wands. You take the leap of faith into that energy of stability. It is a marriage card. You know, the traditional meaning of it doesn't mean you're getting married. But what it does say is Spirit is suggesting that this person could be the one. You know, three fours here, very interesting. 
Fours are the cards of stability, and Spirit is saying that this relationship could go the distance, and it could be a very happy relationship. We, when we get the three, excuse me, the four of wands, we get the bridesmaids dancing. You know, here's the, the wedding tent. Everybody's having a good time. What is your outcome for the short term? Seven of cups keeping options open, but really not all the choices are good ones. When we get the seven of cups, it's kind of a warning because when we look at the cups, this person's oblivious to the fact that there's only one right choice. There's only one correct choice. So it does speak to the fact that, you know, nobody wants to lift a cup and get a coral snake. So if you make the wrong choice, it looks like this can go sideways. And both of you are at this weird crossroads where you don't know quite what you're going to do. So let's go ahead and clarify the energy for you, Gemini. The Nine of Cups card. Tell us for our Gemini friends why this is such a happy time in love. What is it about this relationship? It's Pisces energy. It's the energy that says that you want to introduce one another to your friends. And I'm going to take that because it fell out. Hermit energy, though. Well, if you are a Virgo rising, like me, Pisces is on your seventh house of romance. But it speaks to the fact that right now, I get the five of cups. I don't think you've seen each other. It looks as though the la you might have met at a party and not really have been able to ma have mastered what's going on here in this relationship. Look at that. That was already turned over. Eight of Wands. So the way I'm reading this is you may have, after a night of partying, you may have made love and you may not have contact with one another right now because the Four of Cups goes to the Five of Cups. The Hermit card could be why your person, it looks like there has been no contact or at least for a period of time, this feeling of the darkness and the unexpected after a night of torrent okay so what we are seeing here is you might you both might be married to other people and or one or the other of you is married possibly now that won't be for everyone but it does look like you could also be married to one another and having a rough spot in your relationship why is hair fun card here on top of the two of cups two marriage cards a sun card okay so we're seeing that the two of you have been happy. The two of you can imagine yourselves married to one another. The sun card is uh, Leo energy. Uh, why is it here? The universe card. So for many of you, this relationship could be one that's been going on for a while. We do get the heart of wands, Aries queen. So and the two of coins with the seven of coins. Okay. And the seven of swords. So this could be a secret relationship. This could be a relationship in which one of you is married and the other is single. And it looks like if there's a married par person, Gemini, it might be you. It can always be vice versa, as the energies always are. But there are way too many cards here that are showing sadness, upset, disappointment, because there's a lot of heartfelt energy with that Two of Cups. The Hierophant, you know, is traditional marriage. When we look at the Five of Cups, we see sadness, feeling like somebody owes an apology. We see a lot of heat and passion, a lot of partying. But, you know, the two of you together have this great, happy energy. And you want to close out some sort of cycle. And the Aries Queen is typically, quote unquote, the other person, the other woman. You know, and the Seven of Swords is uh, juggling two, not being straightforward, not coming clean with each other. Um, so there could be just secrecy here in this relationship, but it is blossoming. All right. So why is the Four of Cups here in this situation for our Gemini friends? Ooh, look at that. The Two of Cups again. So it does look like somebody's married here. The Two of Cups means that the two of you are soulmates. It's the, two, the soulmate of the minor arcana. Um... The Ace of Wands says that both of you really uh, have a strong desire for one another. The Two of Swords, though, says that you're not acting on it, that this relationship looks like it's in a bit of a stalemate, which is what your person thinks, Gemini. They feel as though this isn't or can't go anywhere. Tell us something about that Two of Swords, please. 
Four of Swords. Oh my gosh, healing, healing. Wounded. Ooh, you are not happy without each other. The two of you really, really have a deep caring. All of that energy that we're seeing here of the Two of Cups is very much how you feel about each other. The Fool card, your person wants a new beginning with you. They want to have you. They want you in this relationship. They see you almost like a unicorn, somebody who's a person who's very unusual, very exotic, very exciting. It's the energy, though, that requires that there be a death and ending. Something has to end before something can begin for the two of you. So it's very powerful. The strength card, your person has fire in their belly. Leo energy, they, they want to walk side by side with you. They have fire and courage in their belly for the relationship. Twin flames, Gemini. That is the number 22. It's 1111. Your person just really feels that you are the only one for them. The Five of Coins, they feel left out in the cold. We get the Hermit card and the Five of Cups. So Gemini, one of you is not speaking to the other. It looks like there's no communication currently. The Fool card, why do they see you as a person off on a new beginning? Well, for some of you, you might be in school. You might be going back to school. You, might, you may have started a new job. But Nine of Cups, your person sees you as very happy very happy they don't seem to be so happy gemini your person doesn't seem to have the same level of joy six of swords they want to move away they they see you as moving away from them possibly being in an energy that says that you want to be happy and you don't want to have to deal with much here you go the lover's card that's you gemini you've shown up in your reading the ace of swords your person has a lot of clarity about who you are and what you want. The Four of Wands again. 11, 11. We've had three Twin Flame cards now. The, now we have the Soulmate card. So we see your person is really loving you. And now we have the Spirit of Cups, the King of Cups. The two of you look like you're very, very deeply in love. And it looks as though you're not speaking because of potentially a third party situation or something that was said or done in the relationship. And I dropped a whole, a lot of cards here. So we're, we're, your person wants a victory in love. Your person also is feeling very queen of pentacles, king of pentacles. So they see you as a divine match. But we also get, we have the queen of wands up there and the king of wands. So your person is feeling like the two of you are virtually a great match. Two people who could go the distance, two people who are maybe in the public eye. Very powerful. The Seven of Cups says that there's a lot of confusion between the two of you. There's um, keeping options open, the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Cups right here. Pisces energy, and that's what's hidden right now. The Innocence of Swords says that you both spy on each other on the internet. Temperance Reverse, though, says that what's hidden is that neither of you think this can work out. The Four of Cups is repeating itself. You, There's this feeling that you're not being chosen by the other. The Chariot card, Spirit is recommending that you come together that you work on things, that there's at least one person who's very independent, very strong Virgo energy. Uh, Spirit is recommending, I think this to you, Gemini, is to stand in your power, wait for a good offer, and uh, you know, look at things from a different perspective. But I'm getting, Gemini, that it's hard to tell who could be the married person here or who the person is who's in relationship. But I'm getting a feeling it may well be your person. But it's hard to tell. And, you know, the energies can be vice versa. So the Seven of Cups energy, why is it here? Why are these 
three of wands. Oh, so your person and you both feel that you're the one for each other, but you're not sharing that information with each other. Nine of cups, eat, drink, and be merry. Okay, so we started off with the nine of cups. We're ending with the nine of cups. It does look like you're going to have a reunion. It looks like you're going to spend some time together. The, the star card is also hopes and dreams for love coming true. So there is something about this relationship that is divine. We have the innocence of wands, throwing caution to the winds. Having fun, do a little dance, you know, have a little drink, get down tonight, make love, you know. Look at that, ten of wands again, giving up the burdens, the movement of swords. Somebody is coming in to declare their love. They're coming in very fast. Oh, they have a plan. So it looks as though, Gemini, you and your person have not been in communication, but are now making plans. Excuse me. You are now making plans to see one another. And the Ace of Coins, an offer. So for all, you know, it's a very, very sort of, um, a time in your life when you're not quite sure what's going to happen here. Your person's not quite sure what's going to happen. Let's see why we have the unexpected. Ah, justice card. It could be that if there's a married person here, that they are simply thinking about divorce or, you know, ending a relationship legally with maybe the mother of a child. Yep, we have movement of child there but you know there's this is a pretty unsettled reading i'm not seeing any definitive answers but what is unexpected is that there is the expectation that in all the darkness that you know it does look like there's a marriage and it looks like nobody's talking about this nobody's talking about the future both of you are just in this energy of hanging on you have fire in your belly though for the relationship so Gemini, you are in love with somebody. Somebody is in love with you. Uh, looks like one person could be married, but you have a lot of twin flame energy here. So it is a time in your life when you are starting to move forward to you know, have an offer with somebody. When we get the Ace of Coins, it can mean long term with the Three of Cups, which we did not have today, but it means an engagement or potential for an engagement. So Gemini, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.